Okay, raise your hands. Who has ever stood up a guy like last minute? Girls? It's magic. <laughs> I saw it. Okay, this one's for all the bitches. <laughs> it's a bad night for sake. A love boat for two and an order of lady fingers. Fancy the fine tip chopstick fingertip tip 25%. Yeah. <laughs> a box to go. Uh. All the excitement and anxiety quelled by a text message. I know the subject before I click the phone open. Sorry. Can't make it. Something came up. Wow. I thought you were different. That's fine. A simple no would have sufficed. <laughs> no reply. Yeah, no, a box to go. No. No. <coughs> it's a bad night for sake, she tells me, so I order a beer. Dear, it's all right. Get here when you can. I just order. See, the good thing about sushi is that it doesn't go cold. So I text her, hurry up. Your food's getting warm. <laughs> there soon. A half hour and four Kieran beers later, I asked for the check. Be there soon. See, if I'd known by noon, I'd be out drinking with the boys without my feelings hurt. But this emotional succubus couldn't have that. <laughs> so now I'm taking tonight's false hopes home in a doggy bag to eat them for lunch tomorrow. A month later, I get a comment on my space. <laughs> hey you, haven't seen you in a while. What have you been up to? Love ya, XO, XO. I reply, I've been good, all things considered. Hey, we should meet up sometime. I'm always up, I'm always looking for an excuse to get stood up and take leftover reminders home for lunch the next day. What do you say? Sure, that sounds great. What are you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> Evidently my sarcasm was lost on her superior intellect. <laughs> of course, the fact that it was a bad night for sake should have warned me of the impending doom of this relationship, so fuck that bitch. <laughs> fuck that bitch. Fuck, so fuck that bitch. I'll let her finger her tuna roll. I mean, sushi for